Hello, thanks for dropping in. I have here a Commodore 64. This is the one that I just got that, you know, maybe I should have got, maybe I shouldn't have. It's very lovely. 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 Well, I think there is something I missed with it. Because one of the things that came with it was this thing. This game, Frogger! And Frogger comes up on the 64, but it won't let me play. I want to put it on right here. Wow. So I'm just going to try that. Oh, God. Why do you not want to strip the heads? This. This. I wonder if this is an original screw or. Oh no, no, no. See, okay, I figured. Okay, somewhere along the lines, somebody has had some trouble with this machine, and probably the little pillars are screwed, and so they have put bigger, longer screws into it, which means. Yeah, it goes farther in, and it's much farther to the out. These are not originals. But this one could be. And it doesn't want to come out. Oh, okay, no, that's more like an original kind of screw. Alright, I bet you we're going to find there is trouble inside. Maybe somebody used some kind of stuff to keep um, threads like Loctite or something. Boy, I don't think I've ever had a 64. It's hard to open just that. And the screw is still there. Oh, I got the screw. Okay. So we'll set the screw there. And I'll open it up. And I'll take off the keyboard. I'll put it in the box that this all came with. And I will have a look. And there are many chips are socketed. Some are not. Strangely enough, some that are usually socketed are not. For example, the SID chip is not socketed. It is not. But the 6526 chips are. And if I get my spectacles, and just looking at them, just in the distance here, I think one of them has already been changed. This is not unusual. Things happen. Uh, let's see here. Well, yeah, I would bet something here has been changed. We have 16526, which is from the 25th week of 1984, and another one from the 4th week of 1983. And a lot of the chips in here, well, it looks like maybe some have been changed, or it could be a mishmash of things. Like the SID chip is from the ninth week of 83, the 6510, the 14th week of 83. The ROMs are the one I can tell, the one I can see is from 83. There are a lot there, oh, there are five RAM chips in socket. This is unique. So the PLA is in the socket, the 6510, the 9012270502. And then 6526 and some RAM chips. So I suspect at some point this machine has had some repairs done. Especially, like, the RAM chips don't normally come in sockets. They just don't. But 
you never know, you know. Um, it does look like this did have a one of those horrible paper shield things here, maybe, possibly. Uh, yeah, it probably looks like the bottom shield has been unsoldered and put back on. Possibly. Anyway, as always, like any 64, lovely. Oh, it is a 250407 revision A. It is nice dark green surface. So we'll have to explore that. We have many things to explore. Many 64s to explore. Which may or may not happen at this time because I really got to get this to bed. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So, strangely enough. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just looking very carefully. Now, the 6526 chips, they look okay. Like, they're not, there's not, no pin screwed up on them. But, you know, it's the inside that really matters. So, uh, as I've said, I really got to tidy up here. I'm going to put the 64 into this box with some of the treasure that came with it. And I will ponder my next move. I shall. Anyway, with most games, not that we're playing a game here, but with most games, if it doesn't work in port 1, try port 2. That generally takes care of most anything. I like the sound. But we're not going to play at this moment. Not today. Alright, bots to do. And of course, as always, not much time to do it. So, oh, I know what I was going to look at. Sorry. I see you. I was going to look at the pillars on the 64 to see are they broken? Are they well? Hmm, interesting. They have some funny markings. I wonder if they've been re glued. I don't know if I hold this up. If you can see this at all. But there is right in the middle there. Right in the middle where the pillar is. There's a slight discoloration. I mean, it looks. Oh no, this one's definitely cracked. I wonder if there's been some repair on them. I wonder, wonder, wonder. But certainly, one thing I'm going to do right away, if not sooner, is. Like, actually, let me look at this screw. Oh, I can see. see. It's still got plastic stuck in it. And these ones. Let me look. I thought these were okay. And originally. But they're not. They're replacements. So, you know what? I'm going to get rid of them. Because I don't want to put them back in there. I had a hard time getting them out. And things are just going to break. Right? 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 So... I will put them in my pockets, and poof, they're gone. They're out of the room. They are. I understand why. They're not as bad as some things I've seen, like great big wood screws and other such things, but yeah. Not good. Anyway, I will carry on with things. We'll see you again. And I do like this 128. I have another 128. It too would... Maybe I should have a look at that. Maybe. Anyway. Not at this moment. But thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon. Any questions? Ask them. Comments? Send them. Keep your stick on the ice.
Bye for now.